Martin is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And someone sent me a really good question. And they said, I'll actually read the question out. It says, hi Matt, regarding gear ratios, let's say we compare a front sprocket. So this is the front with 12 teeth and a rear sprocket with 40. This is the rear with 40. And we compare that to a front sprocket of 15 versus a rear sprocket or 50 and it says both of these have a ratio of so if we get 40 and divide that by 12 we get 33 at uh, 3.33 reoccurring reoccurring and then if we get 15 we divide that by 15 same fucking thing all right so the ratios between the two, which basically means that this will turn 3.3333333 times for every one revolution of this. And he said, what's the difference? Is there any difference? Well, yes. <laughs> so number one is that it is the um, uh, the turning stress on a, on a chain, the turning stress, the, the radius that a chain has to travel around. So if you have a radius like this, it's this radius here versus this radius here, which gives you an angle there. And the tighter that angle, so in a sense, if you had an angle like this, you had a tiny little sprocket and a massive sprocket like this, that turning radius around here is quite tight. And you just put more stress on your sprocket, which basically means your sprocket will wear out quicker. Now, what is the difference between this sprocket and this sprocket? Pretty much fuck all. You know what I mean? The turning radius. If you wanted to just calculate this for a big one, so you've got a massive sprocket and a little tiny dinky sprocket, not obviously fit to motorcycles, just in engineering in general, these turning radius, the turning radii, you've got to be a bit careful of sometimes, depending how much power is put on this. Um, because it's just the, the loading on the chain as you try and rotate that round. When it starts to go quite quick, that's the problem. When this chain starts to go quite quick and it starts zipping along, the momentum of trying to turn that puts a lot of stress on the chain. And it, like I say, it can in increase where, nah, a bit. Not that you're ever going to notice. What's the other thing with this? You know, what's the other, what's the real main reason? Let's put it that way. That was kind of like the engineering theory behind stuff. Uh, the main reason why you wouldn't want to do this is let's just say every um, fucking hell, every tooth on this sprocket, let's just say every tooth weighs 10 grams. Right, every tooth. So here we've got uh, 12, so that's 120 grams, and here we've got uh, 400 grams. Right, so for a total we've got 520 grams. Hallelujah. For this one, for the same gear ratio, we've got 15, so we've got 150 here, and you can automatically see what happens. 500, which is 650. Right, so we've got 520 versus 650. These are just fucking heavier. And that's not including how much of a radius you're going to have to increase. So you're going to have to increase your inner disc size to go to a bigger sprocket size. Now, yes, obviously you can start cutting out the centre sections and all the rest of it and putting your hole pattern in and blah, 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 blah. However, when you do this, you know, um, just tooth size, and obviously your disc is going to be that much bigger, a bit bigger, but basically it's just fucking heavier. The bigger, the bigger anything you have, the heavier it gets. You know what I mean? Unless you, and someone's going to say, but if you make it out of aluminium, fuck off. Yes, we get that. Twat. I just, <laughs> I just can smell the comments coming. Any road, when you look at these things, is there any difference in torque? And the fact of the matter is, is no, because the torque change is with the speed change. So we are dropping speed here. We're going from 12, just say RPM. We're going from, um, not RPM. If this shaft is going a thousand RPM, right, then this is dropping by 3.3, it's a third smaller. Um, oh, it's three times slower, should we say. And the torque is going up, but the thing is the ratio is the same, right? The ratio is the same. So 
it doesn't matter what size we're doing. If we increase the chain width and stuff like that, then it'll have higher load capacities. But if we're basically just sticking with the same chain pitch and stuff like that, then it's all going to be golden and glory. There is, um, you could say that there is less loading on these teeth because there are more teeth and more rollers for them to go through. So you could say there's a bit less wear. Theoretically, yes, but you know what I mean. The main difference is, is that there is no difference between these when it comes to torque and speed and stuff like that. What is the difference is just the weight. You know, we've gone up uh, 8... 50 so uh, 130 we're going up 130 um 130 grams you know so if we look at plus 130 grams on something that weighs 500 grams it's quite a lot you know what i mean it's not minuscule it's not nothing it's like a sixth if you want to put it that way hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit